You know guys, when people say that Christian relationships are boring, like they say, maybe a, a guy would say something like Christian girls, Christian ladies are kind of boring, they're not romantic, they're not, you know, they give different uh, kind of description. And then some ladies would also say that, ah, I cannot even date a Christian guy. Sometimes I just think, and then you just really need to get there. <laughs> before you know you can just look at them from afar and just imagine and just uh, conclude on your imagination that they are boring i mean have you heard <laughs> did you remember can you still remember mommy gloria bamiloye how she praised her husband on the anniversary can you guys still remember if you have not i just want to use this video to remind you i would like you to watch this video to the end and uh, you would get what i'm trying to say and i would like to encourage you as well that it's good to date a christian it's good to marry a christian christian dating is sweet christian marriages are wonderful you have a peace of mind if god is in the midst of your own man like you know our god is light so there can be darkness in your marriage i can say more i can keep saying more like i can keep on praising gospel christian marriages christian relationships i can go on and on but let me just stay here i'm not here to preach to you guys i just want you guys to hear this i uh, i know a lot of you have heard it before but i this is just like a reminder to tell you guys that there are a lot of reasons why you need to date a christian and eventually marry a christian keep watching and make sure that you enjoy the video like it share with your friends and if you've not subscribed please do well to subscribe to my youtube channel thank you and just let me leave you now to see the video like see sister gloria talk sweet things about bro mike okay i just said i should say something about <laughs> about brother mike <laughs> okay about my dear <laughs> That means said I should not call Brother Mike today. <laughs> but I said, okay, God will help me. But what I will say starts with Brother Mike. <laughs> so let me say something now. I called him Brother Mike. Before I ever knew he would be the man I will spend my life with. My faith was stretched in the course of following this man. But the Lord taught me to follow. Even at times when he failed, I pointed it to God. The Holy Spirit will still encourage me to keep following. Really, it has not been easy following Mike. Many at times I grumbled in my spirit, asking God why I need to agree with him. I mean, Brother Mike, on everything, when I'm not stupid, but he has always told me that is where your wisdom is. Today, I'm starting to testify before God and all his children that I have no regrets at all following my... Thank you.